Hey, what's going on, guys? I hope you're doing well. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to exploit Windows with the Eternal Blue exploit. So, we're going to need two different things. We're going to need to have Linux, and we're going to need to have our target machine. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to launch my Windows 8 uh, virtual machine here. Okay, here we go. So, over here on the left, we have our Windows 8 Pro virtual machine, and we also have our Linux here on the right. So what we're going to need here is we're going to need to have Metasploit. So I already have it installed. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type MSF console. And we'll just wait a couple seconds. Mine's a little bit outdated, but that's alright. So we're just going to wait for this to start up. Here we go. Yeah, so one thing I really like about Metasploit is that these images always change every time you launch it. It's really cool. So this first exploit here that we're going to use will allow us to create a reversed shell on our Windows machine, assuming you guys have the password and the username, of course. Now, all these commands will be in the description, so you guys can go ahead and just copy them in. So we're gonna go ahead and enter the payload. Now, I don't have a payload configured, so that's all right. So let's go ahead and we'll type clear, just to clear things up. And let's look at the options here. All right. So what we're gonna need here is we're gonna need the R host, okay? And now the password and the user is optional, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add those in because I already know the logins. And everything else should be good to go. So let's, let's try this here. So we'll set the remote host to the machine's IP. Okay. All right, and then we're also gonna set the SMB, well, let's do the user first. And we'll set that to the password here, or sorry, to the username. All right, so let's go ahead and we will set the password here. And this will be our password. There we go. So now if we type options, we should see we've got our super secure password. We've got our username and we have the remote host. Very cool. So let's go ahead. We'll just type run. And if all goes well, we should have a reverse shell. All right, here we go. As soon as you guys see Metterpreter, let me know we have a first shell. So we can go, go ahead and type PWD. And we can see we're on C slash Windows slash System32. So let's go ahead and let's make a folder here on the desktop. So we'll CD back twice. And we'll CD users and CD the username and CD desktop. There we go. So now if we type PWD, we're on C slash users slash alpha driver slash desktop. Very cool. So let's go ahead and we'll make a folder. You know, funny folder. There we go. So if we go over to desktop, we now have a very funny folder. There's nothing in it. Okay. So this next exploit here is going to make an attempt to try to add a local user to the machine that we can go ahead and log into with. So let's go ahead and we'll use it. It's actually an auxiliary exploit. So that's really cool. Now, let's look at the options here. Okay, so we're gonna need the R host. Um, let's see what else here. Everything else can be left the same, I believe. Or actually, we do need to add a command here. Okay, so let's go ahead, we'll clear the screen, and we'll set the R host to the machine's IP once again. Oh, 12, not one. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna head, let's go ahead and add a command here. So we can go do set command, and we'll do net, and we'll do user. How about we add, do parrot here? And the password will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very secure. And we'll do slash add. There we go. Okay, and we already set the R host. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll type run. Let's see. So this machine here is not able to be exploited with this exploit. So things might be a little bit different if you're trying to use a different machine. So just keep this in note, but the setup should be simple. And as soon as you guys go ahead and run this exploit, if it's successful, you can go ahead and run the first exploit, but this time use these credentials and you'll now have a backdoor user on the machine. All right, very cool. Let's go ahead and we'll go back and we'll clear the screen once more. Okay, now this last exploit here is one of my favorites. Now this is the eternal blue exploit. So 
what it's going to do is it's going to attempt to blue screen the PC. So this is one of my favorites. It's only worked on my Windows 8 Pro, you know, a couple times. So, because it's really meant for Windows 8 and 8.1 and pretty much any of the following windows here. So let's go ahead and let's look at our options. So, okay, it looks like we're going to need to include the user, the password, and the username. Okay, so it's already been filled out, but I've already used this before. So let's go ahead and let's try this again. We'll set the R host to the user, once again, or to the machine's IP, 148. There we go. And we'll set the SMB pass to the password here. Our very secure password. And finally, we'll set it the user. And this will be our machine's user here. Very cool. Now, as soon as we're ready, we can go ahead and press run. And let's hope. Oh, I cannot click anything on the virtual machine. So it looks like something's working. So as long as you're not seeing anything, oh, and the virtual machine closed. It is now restarting. All right, let's expand this just a tad. Okay, let's enter in our password. Very secure password. All right, exploit failed with the following error. From the socket connection reset by peer. That is, that is great. So we went ahead and we crashed the Windows PC here. Your PC ran into the problem. Press cause this problem caused your PC to restart. You can send the info to Microsoft. Nope. There we go. So the exploit went ahead, crashed the PC, but it tried to create a reverse shell, but that didn't work. So it just went ahead and just crashed it. Anyways, those are the three main Windows exploits that I enjoy. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe as it really helps out a ton. And we are very, very close to 1000 subscribers. So with that said, I'll see you all later.